Namaste. In this video, I would like to elaborate or clarify on the usage of DLL provided by Swiss of Emirates in Excel VBA. So, when we want to use the DLL and make some application in uh, Excel VBA for uh, astrology, the first question is where to place the DLL? See, there are two different scenarios where Windows is either 32-bit or 64-bit. Obviously, if Windows is 32-bit, you will use Excel 32-bit only. You don't have any choice. In that case, you will use SWE DLL 32.dll. Okay, in case you are using Windows 64-bit, you may have the choice of running Excel 32-bit or Excel 64-bit. In such a case, you have to use different DLLs. Okay. Like SWDLL32.dll or 64-bit DLL. Okay, you also need to be aware that the function declarations inside VBA to call these Swiss of Memories uh, functions they are different for the two DLLs. Okay. Now the important question: Where to place this DLL? See, earlier I I said I posted a video wherein I said you need to register the DLL. There is no need to register the DLL. I would like to clarify here. There is no need to register the DLL. You can place it in the system directory of Windows. Excel can find it automatically. Okay. So, the only question is, we have to know that, of course, I am not talking about a scenario where we are using Windows 32-bit. Uh, most of the guys uh, are not using 32 bit. I think, in case if it is 32 bit, you can simply place it in uh, system 32 folder. Now, if you are using 64 bit uh, Windows, if you are using Excel 32 bit, you will use uh, Swiss of Memories DLL of 32 bit. In that case, you have to keep it in Sys WOV 64 folder. In case you are using 64 bit Excel, you will use SysOfMary 64 bit DLL. You need to place it in System32 folder. Okay. This is the clarity I wanted to provide. So, only funny part is in case Excel is 32 bit, you are going to place it in a Windows folder which has 64 in its name. Okay. SysWow64. In case you are using Excel 64 bit, you are supposed to or put your uh, DLL in a folder of Windows that has 32 in its name. Okay, system 32. <laughs> That's a funny part. Now, as far as the declarations are concerned, they are different for the different uh, types of DLLs. Okay, but they can be combined in the same file uh, by using preprocessor conditional directives uh, in Excel VBA. Also, DLL can be in working folder. Okay. But it is not that simple. See, the applications earlier written by me are uh, the more popular guy, Ganeshan uh, Srinivasan. Okay. Whatever he uses, he doesn't uh, follow this. Okay. In such a case, you have to keep uh, your DLL in the system folder only. Okay. But the example provided by uh, Swiss Software is guys, they, they have shown an example wherein you can uh, keep the DLL in the same folder as your uh, Excel file. Okay, but, but in that file, what they are doing is they are running a function to set the path to tell the path of the DLL exclusively. Okay, unless you do that before while opening the workbook itself. It will not work. Okay. It is not that simple. Okay. Also, keeping the DLL every time in any, uh, in every uh, application Excel sheet I make or uh, Excel workbook I make is not recommended. I'm just showing some application. I'm simply calculating uh, simple uh, degrees of sun and I am sir. Control Alt F9 to recalculate. It is able to calculate. I simply placed it in. I place the DLL in because mine is Windows 11 64 bit. 
and then uh, XL uh, 2021 64-bit the DLL was placed in system 32 folder anyway I just made a test this one where uh, I wanted to show you F9 to recalculate okay it does calculation I wanted to show you alt if 11 for uh, code window okay so this is a scenario uh, what is uh, followed in the example file provided by SwissFMRIs guys see they are running this uh, function hwe set fa path okay and they are exclusively giving giving the path okay where to find the dll so in workbook open unless you run this function it will not work if you simply keep uh, your dll in your working folder okay so you must know this the other thing i talked about you can combine the different uh, types of declarations for excel uh, uh, 32 bit and 34 bit okay see you can use this uh, pre-processed di directives if win64 hash if win64 hash else hash ended okay i'll show you my hwe file okay see i have uh, done if win64 i've included all the win64 declarations win64 declarations will have this pdr save for the same functions okay then see else and then we will start uh, this copying this 32 bit declarations here okay here the, there is no pointer self stuff okay see like here okay end up hash end up okay and then these are constants okay these are common for uh, 32 bit or 64 bit okay these are constants or variables okay then this is the only thing that is specifically needed for the 64 bit uh, version okay this function called set string length okay set str len okay, and then these are all the functions you may write so that is how you can combine uh, different declarations in case you want to okay. you can search for you can search for uh, swiss of memories files like this swiss of memories github if you search you you'll get this uh, one so i already opened it so here if you go to windows okay uh, this is swift.zip okay you can download it okay they have provided uh, this dlls here in the bin folder then under vb if you see this rb.xlss okay if you run this enable macros uh, i said okay okay this is uh, for uh, 32 bit okay doesn't matter uh, what i wanted to show you is see this workbook see they are using workbook.open they are first of all declaring specifically where is the path for the dll file okay and then they are simply running this SWE set FA path and giving that path, okay, which they have declared here. So, unless you are doing this, you won't be able to run these applications just by putting your uh, DLL in the working folder. That's it, I wanted to show you. So, that is how many people on the internet end up telling you that uh, there is no need to. Uh, register the dll that is true there is no need to register the dll but it is not that simple if you keep it in the same folder as your excel file but windows can help you by finding the dll in case you keep the dll in the system folder 